This virus has now uh, spread to more than half of the countries in Latin America and the Caribbean, and millions of people are, uh, have been infected and many more will be infected. And as the outbreak continues to spread, more and more travelers are going to be infected and returning to the U.S. infected by the virus. First of all, anyone who travels to these affected areas, um, there are several risks that uh, they have when they return. One is if, if it's a man and his wife is pregnant or could become pregnant, sexual transmission is a major risk. And uh, that can be mitigated by the use of condoms, like for other sexually transmitted diseases. But even for anyone else returning uh, after exposure to the virus in these endemic areas, they do have the risk to initiate the transmission cycle here in the United States. Well, Zika is the only one that's known to be transmitted sexually so far. And in fact, when this first case was reported in 2008, it was really a big surprise to the entire virology community because we've been studying uh, very closely related viruses for many years like dengue and West Nile and yellow fever and chikungunya, and this has never been documented before. So as far as we know, Zika is the only one.